Yo, what up fellow disc golfers, Adam with High Action Disc Golf. It's a little cold outside today. We've had a cold front come through here in Texas and it's pretty rainy weather so I thought I would film this video in the comfort of my own home. But today I'll be bringing you a review of the Zuka Backpack LG cart as well as some notable upgrades that I would suggest. If you like content like this, please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Let me know what kind of products you guys would like to see me review and let me know how the reviews have been so far. With that said, let's get into it and you guys can see what I think of the cart. So first off, I will say I am not sponsored by Zuka, so this will be my unfiltered opinion of the cart, both the pros and the cons. I am 32 years old with degenerative disc disease, and while that doesn't usually affect my throwing in any way, it does affect my back when I have to carry a really heavy bag for two full rounds at a tournament or just for an extensive period of time. And if you've seen some of my previous videos, you'll know that I like to carry a pretty large bag because I like to carry a lot of discs. I want discs for every single scenario and I also like to carry a lot of accessories because I always like to be prepared. So that being said, I decided to pick up a cart to ease some of that strain on my back and I picked up the Zuka Backpack LG. Now this cart can hold a pretty sizable bag. I currently have the Prodigy BP1 V3. I will say this is one of the largest bags on the market and it just barely fits into this thing. I've seen quite a few other bags fit into the Zuka LG, no problem, but this one just barely fits in. Uh, I have the side pockets expanded so that I can carry as much accessories as possible. Uh, but it does just barely fit and the side pouches here, the magnetic pouches, will rub on the tires every now and then. I'm considering possibly getting the fenders for the Zuka cart. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet or not. It, I don't think that it causes a major issue. But just so that you are aware, you'll have to tuck the water bottle holders back if you have the BP1 V3. But it will fit in here. Uh, that said, the cart is made of, I believe, a brushed aluminum. It's very lightweight. I can't find anything online saying what type of metal it is made out of, but I think it's some kind of sturdy brushed aluminum. Uh, like I say, it's very lightweight. You have a hinged flap that doubles as a seat on top. Uh, this opens very easily so I can reach my putter pocket in the top to reach all of my putters. No problem. This seat can hold up to 300 pounds. Uh, it's pretty comfortable. I will say that it slants slightly forward, so you do have to keep your feet on the ground. You can't just kick back and lean back on it so much. Uh, so that takes a little bit of getting used to, but otherwise, it's really comfortable to be able to sit on this and not have to carry around an extra stool. So I do like that added feature into it. Also, I love the telescoping handle here. Uh, you have a telescoping point right here. There's also a lower point that you can extend almost double what I have extended to right here. But it affords a very long reach for taller people. I'm pretty short. I'm 5'5". Five five. So this is about all I need. But if you need to extend it longer for those tall people to really lean it back and not have to worry about kicking it when you're walking, then you can do that. It affords a very long reach and a lot of adjustability. So I do like that about the cart. Overall, I will say I have enjoyed the cart as a whole. Like I say, it's pretty lightweight. It holds the bag really well, very sturdy. But there are some notable upgrades that I will suggest. Uh, a couple of those are some DIY projects because in my opinion, Zuka overcharges for some of the accessories. It kind of feels like one of those situations where because they're the only ones that offer it, they charge whatever they want. So, in my opinion, there are a couple of DIY projects that I would suggest. One thing is a personal preference, and that is because I have the BP1 V3 as my bag. As you can see, the putter pouch is on the front. Because of this putter pouch being on the front, there is a metal flange at the bottom here that's an aesthetic piece that if you set the bag straight into the cart, it actually rubs on this pouch. I don't like that. I don't want to take a chance of damaging the pouch. Also, it will lift the putters just a hair, and I don't want to take a chance of those putters popping out because they're lifted up a little bit. So what I did is I took an inch thick piece of plywood, cut it to shape, 
and spray painted it black and just slotted it down in here into the interior of the cart. And then I just set my bag on top of that. It raises the bag up by an inch and it keeps this pouch from rubbing on that flange so harshly. So that's just a personal preference. I think that that is a necessary upgrade if you have the BP1 V3. Most bags out there do not have a front putter pocket like this, so you don't really have to worry about that. Another DIY accessory that I suggest to anyone is holders for an umbrella and for a disc retriever. Uh, the holder specifically for the disc retriever on Zuka is $60 for a piece of, I think, pre 3D printed plastic. In my opinion, that's a little excessive. So I spent about $30 to $35 to purchase some PVC. I bought some 3 inch diameter PVC and an inch and a half diameter PVC. Cut them to shape. I think this is just a little over two feet. This is just under two feet. And then I bought these rubber stoppers here with a metal clasp and just stopped the bottom of it. And then I drilled a few holes in the sidewall of the PVC and just ran zip ties through. And I have them all secured with zip ties. It's very sturdy. It doesn't move very much at all. I can grab my umbrella very easily, grab my retriever very easily, drop it straight back in, no problem. There really is a lot of space around the cart to add multiple accessories on the exterior. So I'll leave a link into the description to all the accessories that I suggest for this and where you can pick up all of them. But I grabbed the PVC and the stoppers and the zip ties all at Home Depot for about $30 to $35. Another notable accessory that I suggest is upgrading the water bottle holders. The standard ones that come with the Zuka Backpack LG are the basic bicycle water bottle holders that are just like a thin piece of shaped aluminum. And I think that they're junk. Just plain and simple. Multiple times I found myself catching them on my heel and if you catch them on your heel at all, they bend out of shape immediately. Your water bottle flings all over the place, they fall out, they don't hold form very long, they're not very tight, so these larger 32 ounce bottles, they just don't hold very well. So in my opinion, it is definitely worth it to spend the extra money to upgrade. Uh, you can buy a lot of different options for water bottle holders. They basically hold a standard bicycle holder, uh, but I suggest getting these. These are the Arendelle um, adjustable holders that Zuka suggests. They're, I believe, about $25 a piece, so a little bit pricier, but they are really nice, and I'm very happy with them. They have an adjustable clip here that can cinch down all the way to hold a standard disposable plastic bottle and all the way up to hold a 32 ounce very easily. Um, I think you can even hold a slightly larger bottle like a Hydro Flask or something if you absolutely need to. It has a rubber stopper back here that kind of creates some friction to to really hold the bottle in place. And I just keep it tightened just enough to hold it in place where it's a little bit difficult to pull it out so that I know that they're cinched down really well. Uh, but that's a definitely a suggested upgrade. Another thing that I suggest, which I did pick up straight from Zuka, is their umbrella holder that holds the umbrella upright. Um, the BP-1 V3 is built with a pouch that you can put an umbrella into as well as a retriever, but unfortunately the seat covers that space, so you have to have an alternative if you're going to use the cart. So that's why I built this to hold my umbrella in place when I'm not using it, and then I went ahead and bought the Zuka holder to hold it upright. Uh, they do make golf cart holders for ball golf that you can clip onto this, but every single one of them I found online had terrible reviews. Uh, they have a clasp, a little pinch clasp that holds it in orientation, and you can kind of angle it. But every one of them that I saw online, they were really bad about loosening. They didn't hold the umbrella very tightly at all. This is, again, I believe a piece of 3D printed plastic. It can clip onto the uppermost part of the telescoping handle here. And all you do is bring it around. It's got a hook that is facing opposite directions. Bring it around and just snap it into place. You can slide it along the pole. It's got a very positive grip to it. It doesn't really move much at all. And I can just take my umbrella, open it up when it's raining, and drop it straight in there. It's perfect. Uh, I think it's great. 
like I say, it's about $30. It's a little more on the pricey side, but in my opinion, this is something that is definitely necessary for those rainy days. Uh, so there'll be a link in the description to where you can purchase one of those. Another upgrade that you can buy from Flight Tile, actually, is their 3D printed uh, handle grip. The standard handle is metal, and I just believe in the colder months, I haven't used it in the colder months quite yet, but I believe in the colder months, it's probably going to be pretty cold to grab that and hold on to it. It's also a little slick. They've got kind of a texture to it, but it's a little slick. Uh, this is, I believe, either, I think it's about $15 on Flight Tile's website, just a piece of 3D printed uh, rubber or urethane. And it form fits over the handle perfectly. It's very, very sturdy. Uh, it's got a great grip to it. It's really comfortable in the hand. It doesn't slip at all. And I think this is an excellent upgrade. Also on the front, something to save your backside in the future is the seat cushion. Uh, this is from Zuka. Now make sure that you purchase the correct one. They make one for the backpack cart and the Backpack LG, they are different dimensions. So if you get the LG model, you will need the LG seat cover. It's very comfortable. It has more padding than I thought it would have. I would prefer that it had like a gel pad or some form of denser memory foam. It doesn't feel like it has anything like that. It's kind of thin. It's a quilted pattern up here. It's good stitching. Uh, it slips on very easily and just snaps on in a couple of different areas. And it does make this seat a little more comfortable, in my opinion, if you're going to be sitting on it for quite a while. So this is another upgrade that I would suggest. Uh, there are a few other upgrades that you can do to this. There are fenders. There are, um, there's a putter pouch that you can actually Velcro to the telescoping handle that hangs off of the backside. You can put a few extra discs in. I'm considering trying both of those because I love carrying a lot of plastic again. And it'd be great to have an extra pouch just to put some extra discs, possibly utility discs or something like that. Uh, but not positive that I'm going to do that. But overall, my final opinion, I think that the Zuka Backpack LG is a fabulous cart. I think the Zuka is absolutely killing it on the market. So pros for this thing are it's very durable, it's lightweight, it holds basically every bag on the market, including the BP-1 V3. Like I said, it's a little bit of a snug fit, but I think that it works really, really well. Uh, it's very easy to roll. The wheels are a dense foam wheel. They are not air up, so they're really sturdy and stiff. They can roll over basically everything. It has completely sealed bearings, so you don't have to worry about them getting wet and rusting out. It rolls over pretty much every single terrain you could possibly pull it over. And I think that the Zuka Backpack LG is a fabulous cart. My only complaints are some of the accessories are a bit expensive, in my opinion. Again, I think it's just that situation, since they're the only ones that offer it, they can charge whatever price they want. Uh, so that would probably be one of the only complaints that I have about the cart at all. It, and in my opinion, it should come with better water bottle holders. The water bottle holders that it comes with are not good quality at all. They're really cheap and very junky, and it's a necessary upgrade if you're going to have water bottles on the cart to upgrade to those better holders. But overall, the Zuka Backpack LG is a fabulous cart. And for anybody who deals with any kind of back problems like me, or for anybody who just wants to take that weight off of their back and put it on the ground, the Zuka Backpack LG is my number one suggestion. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Again, if you did, please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. If you have a Zuka cart, let me know what you think about it, and let me know if there are any upgrades or accessories that you guys would suggest that I look into. This is Adam with High Action Disc Golf, and I'll catch you guys on the high road. Thank <laughs> you.